Hey guys, it's Tarkin coming at you with another game of Hardcore Minecraft. And uh, just picking up right where we left off after our inventory management. Bed in hand, we've left, uh, like, are we going to leave our furnace and such here? No, we should take the furnace with us. It's only reasonable. And we're going to take the crafting table too, so that we don't have to worry about throwing one down uh, when we get to where we're going. And where we're going is just further away uh, from this stuff. So we're just going to look for something new. Uh, you know, we, we need to find a village. We're going to uh, scout this island over here first. This would be ideal if it happened to be over here. Uh, but I don't think we're going to hold out hope because that's going to be sort of uh, to the side of where that one nether portal is, I think. But we're still, we didn't scout the other side of it. So we're just going to book it over here and uh there's a lot of different places to check out there's something pink on the sides there so that's either pigs or something growing we'll be able to check that out and we've got uh a very interesting uh place going on here another dark forest it looks like so perhaps a little chunk of that one popped out over there and that's why there's one single uh mushroom and I don't see any dark oak trees or anything over there, but yep, the yeah, here we go. So those are the uh, that's the spruce biomes so over there. Is the the cherry grove and such, and right here, okay, it was lava, it was lava, not not pigs. I should have should have known, but there's a there's another dark forest that uh, that starts there and then comes in over here. There's a lot of quite unique uh biomes just basically all over the place in this uh this sea it's it's so cool i love it here i don't ever want to lose but you know sometimes you will sometimes you definitely will i don't love that this kelp is here it's possible that this is just like a continuation of that very first dark forest but if it is it's immense right I remember there being a break, but that doesn't mean that I knew, like, every part of the border of it. And, uh, yeah, it just, uh, really goes on just absolutely forever. I wish there was a village in it. But alas... We're, uh, we're getting so far from home that... Well, I've got my trusty compass, yes. And I know because of the position of those spruce trees there, just like generally what's going on around me. How many torches do I have? 32, that's good. Oh no, I have thrown away my axe. I don't actually need it, but I don't want to not have it either. Am I going to, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna make another axe. No, it's going to bob back up to the surface. I see it now. There we go. <laughs> Today in, I totally am a legitimate player and can play on hardcore. And that's why I'm here. I, uh, I accidentally threw my axe into the ocean and then clumsily tried to grab it again. But, you know. That is what you can look forward to for me. Remembering to immediately pop the boat. A little bit of iron. You never want to let a little bit of, uh, of free iron go to waste. And the coal I didn't really need to pick up, but I mean, why not? There's a nether portal out there, so we can go and loot it. And a whole bunch of gravel here. But uh, we're going to try to... Uh, yeah, we're going to want to come back here. And, uh, and mine some of this gravel for flint, so I can make just like a whole bunch of arrows. Or rather, I need four flints so I can make 16 arrows. Or I need to find... 
a bunch of chickens. But even more important than chickens. Okay, there's a an absolute wealth of uh, of gravel here. I, I certainly don't need to worry about how I'm going to uh, how I'm going to figure out the uh, the gravel situation. There's going to be flint for days, flint for years, and of course a uh, a very reasonable amount of pork also. But Through my very careful placement of all of uh, these torches, we're going to... All right, there we go. So as we've noted in the past, uh, mobs will definitely uh, get burned by the sun. But that doesn't mean that you'll get experience. You know, you got to get your last hit on them, or at least a recent hit on them. And... So even though it's daytime and they wouldn't spawn in the sun, they would have spawned at night and then hung out under the trees until I uh, alarmed them or come up here and not quite caught on fire. See, we see another one there. Makes a lot of sense. And uh, really, we just want to throw that there so that we can keep an eye on it. No iron to be had immediately. And that's the only other reason we would want to look around. But uh, right now it is coming on Christmas, and by that I mean it is definitely time to bed down for the night. It looks like it looks very much like a creeper got into a fight with some other people here. But uh, one of the things that is evident is that I forgot my doors. Got to have a door, and really, I uh, some dirt wouldn't. Wouldn't go amiss either, but we're just going to, uh, to forget to have a torch here immediately. It would be pretty silly if I ended up perishing because of that, but all right, we're good. I forgot to put a door down at all, but that's all right. We don't need one. All we need is the sweet, sweet embrace of bed. And uh, actually, we're just going to uh, just don't do this at home. We're just going to cook some uh, cook some meat real quick. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's a good little video. That's uh, that's an awesome success. That's, you know, we explored a little bit. We got our compass. We know where the rest of our loot is. And we're just following our heart. And, uh, and the dark forest, figuring out what's going on. Got plenty of iron. We're going to need to make another sword before long. But, of course, in the morning, we'll just uh, mine a little bit, which I could do right now, right? Yeah, we'll just lay down for the night. And while I could crack all of those, it's actually not that practical because I could just hit a beech tree and then make four of them in the space of uh, mining the uh, the planks. So we're just going to take a quick look around. All right, that's rain. If it's a thunderstorm, I feel not awesome about it. I don't think it is one, though, or we would have had like a lot of enemies immediately come out. So we're just going to put the furnace down out here so that it's a more accessible uh, thing. And, uh, and get to cooking some uh, mutton while we uh, while we talk to ourselves and mine a little bit of gravel. And of course, the only thing that we really want to get is for flint. But man, it does not want to drop. Okay, there we go. We got a couple in quick succession. Feels good. 
because I'm like, I'm not an amazing archery shot in this game yet. All right, there we go. Four flint, four uh, feathers, a match made in a calculator. All right, 15 arrows. Oh, I need more sticks. I'll just make a shocking amount of sticks. All right, 23 arrows. That's uh, that's more in line with what I thought my arrow count would be. We're gonna grab this sword and toss the stone sword. That a backup stone sword is not where we're gonna be. We are past that level of play. Not least because I just have like, you hate to say extra iron because uh, to a, a person of very limited experience as I am, like, it just feels like an hour ago in, in game time that I couldn't have enough iron. But, you know, once you have your, uh, once you have your stuff made, I should make another shield right now. I need more wood. Can't make a shield without more wood. And then I'll check out the nether portal. Which will be a good little place to end it, unless you look at the runtime and it's considerably longer, in which case that means I elected to do something else. Alright, speaking of elections, I need to get a chest down here and do the typical thing where you, uh, we, we put a chest down and then leave it alone forever as if it wasn't even, ever real, as if it never existed. Just like the utility of that door. No, I'm not going to do the door. The door's a little dumb. But we are going to... Uh, not our beloved pork chops. Obviously not the pork chops. But... Uh, like, man, I'm really... I'm reaching to the point where I need to carry all the junk with me that I've got. Not the buried treasure map. I have no idea why I still have that. We'll just leave it in here. You know, sort of a, a red herring if anybody loots me. Alright, and now freshly armed with enough time. I need a clock too, but I, uh, I don't know. I shouldn't say I don't know how to make one. It involves redstone and stuff, but we're just going to go out to this nether portal and loot it. Because I, uh, I think you can just like sort of safely do that. Unless it's about to be night, in which case you can't safely do anything. But I've got, uh, I've got torches and a bed. And even doors. You know, so, in a way, I'm super prepared for all of this. And I've got gravel. I can make a gravel tower. I'm sure that that's just as practical as a sand tower. We've got a, uh, a big, tall spruce biome over there, so... With uh, a little bit of mushrooms over on that side. Man, the, the dark forest uh, really uh, permeates. And there's more here. This is such a cool area. Any enemies? No. That was a bad sound. Alright, I think it was just the sound of the magma trying to pull me down. But I don't want to leave my boat till I see. Yep where our objective is, which is right here. We're just gonna... Grab all that. And just take a quick look around real quick. Make sure that nothing's trying to pop us. And then we're gonna go up top and loot it. Unless it's about to be night, which it is. Oh boy. Well, what it is is about to be a thunderstorm, which is both very exciting and uh, potentially fatal because I am out on the ocean. 
And, uh, well, the nether portal would have been slightly taller than me. Oh, boy. But I, uh, you know, if I... Look, if it's meant to be, then I will just roll another character and find another, another world. <laughs> Normally, I'd be, like, super psyched about this, but I, uh... Okay. We'll go back to that nether portal later to steal the gold block on top because a whole gold block is a lot. You know, that's a, that's not some nothing. Boom. Okay. There are foes. But unlike every other time I've seen a skeleton in the trees... Alright, so clearly I should just uh, be using the shield and the sword when it comes to skeletons. Because even in a, a little archery duel, it doesn't work out perfectly. But, you know, I wanted to try it out. And the, uh, the proof is that it still works. And I was going to say I should... Uh, Go sleep for the night, but with the uh, with the torch coverage, we're still fine. Um, they might uh, blow each other up over there, but even though it's night or it's not night, it's uh, the thunderstorm. Everything's still behaving, uh, you know, according to light. I don't. Can I pick this up? I broke it. But this is a situation now where having the bow is excellent because I'm just going to be able to uh, throw pot shots at my enemies here from like really far away. That creeper just wink out of existence. I do not love that. All right, there's one zombie down. We're going for the weaker ones first, because, of course, the advantage in numbers is the principal thing to worry about here. As well as, uh, you know, range support from far away. He should be, yeah, totally fine. Their, uh, their gold-clad captain here is soon going to figure out that all of his supporting men are gone. And now, like what? He's going to come up and hit me with a thing of rotting meat? He's not even going to get a single heart in. Oh, oh, you're in gold armor? It will avail you of nothing. And now your pants are mine. All right. So, clearly I am feeling nice. Okay, these golden pants are already almost gone. Can I, like, burn the, uh, the items up? I know you can, uh... Oh. Right, you know, the furnace would work better if it had coal. I only have eight arrows left now. You know, it's funny how quickly they all go, but we got some experience orbs to pick up here. And, anyway, I'm not, like, that afraid of my enemies anymore. It's sort of uh, funny how quickly the uh, the contempt for mortality can sink in when you uh, when you feel like you've figured out a game. And you're no longer willing to be reasonably afraid. Because right now, like, why am I picking a fight with these creepers? For gunpowder, which I don't need? Really, it's just for practice. I think this is the second creeper. Yeah, that's the second one. We needed a couple more hits on him to be able to get it. So I just wanted to make a little bit more distance first. I think one of those is going to bug it. Nope, we're good. We're all good. One, we'll get two hits on the zombies there. We'll need one more on this creeper. No, no, two more on him. 
And I just need to finish this kill and eat a pork chop. And down to two hearts. Easy peasy. You know, I actually never felt in danger. And that just goes to show that I had no concept of what my actual health total was. Because I was actually in quite a lot of danger there. Well, I mean, not tons. At that point, there wasn't anybody else to, uh, to get me. But there could have been a skeleton around the side. You know, I wasn't that up to date on it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, actually, you know, it's raining. It's raining, so you don't have to be scared of Enderman, I remember. You know, but if it stops raining, we're going to be in some trouble. But that's right. I, uh... You know, he would have been right around that whole time that I was talking about how safe I was. You know, like a delusional person. There's a creeper there. We're just going to accelerate out. Put some distance between us. Eat a pork chop. Eat a pork chop. Running out of pork chops. Really chomping down on them. But that'll be okay. I'll find some more food. Got uh, chicken and such. Yes. You know, when you look at the sadness in their eyes, you almost don't want to shoot another arrow at them. But on the same hand, like, <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. But all right, that is, uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll call that a day. That'll be good. We'll just lay down for the night. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. Killed it. No notes. Flawless victory. I actually feel really good about all that. And, uh, yeah. There you go. It's still raining when we woke up. Nope. Alright. And a new day will dawn. A new opportunity for inventory management. And, uh, and all of that kind of junk. But, uh, so for all of that, I used up all the arrows and am no closer, uh, to having enough flint for them. So we'll, we'll just mine up a little bit more of that, which was what I was planning on doing to end the entire video so recently in the past. But it'll be okay. We'll make another iron shovel, and then that'll, uh... That'll be that. Yeah, we got our two flints there. You know, there's uh, the Fletcher that buys, like, 15 flints, which is just a shocking amount. Like, how would you ever, ever get that many? But I think you can burn down a tool and get just, like, a little fragment. So when they get to this point, like, I don't, I don't want them in my inventory taking up space, right? Sweeping Edge 3. You know, it's not a very good sword, but it does have enchantments on it. Yeah, you get a nugget. Can you burn down the leggings? Yes. So, okay. Yeah, I guess, like, all the equipment's like that. Not stone. I don't think you can do it on diamonds. But the uh, the iron and, and gold junk. So at least you can get a little bit of it whenever it's getting down to the thing. You can get, you know, one-ninth of a bar. But, uh, well, you know, there you have it. When we return, I'll probably go out there and pry the gold off of the top of that uh, fixture. And then we'll uh, we'll see what's going on. I'm going to keep on looking around. Probably mine a bunch of sand and build a pillar. Figure out how far this dark forest goes. Because I haven't gone anywhere yet where I couldn't see a mushroom. But I am... This is 1,300 out of spawn. That's a long way to uh, to see this many mushrooms, at least in my opinion. Anyway, pretty cool uh, stuff, I think. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching and listening. I probably already said that. One forgets. Uh, but uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video where we we adventure in various ways.